On the day of surgery, there are several steps and processes that you will go through. One, preoperative preparation. You will be asked to arrive to a surgical center a few hours before your scheduled surgery time. This allows the medical team to complete necessary paperwork, perform preoperative assessments, and prepare you for the procedure. Two, check-in process. Upon arrival, you will be greeted by our staff who will be confirming a few things with you such as your personal and medical information, signing consent forms, and ensuring that all necessary documentation is in order. Three, preoperative assessment. You will then be taken to a preoperative area where a nurse will conduct a thorough assessment. This may include checking your vital signs, reviewing medical history, and performing any necessary tests or screenings. Four, change into a surgical gown. Before the surgery, you will be asked to change into a surgical gown. This ensures a sterile environment and allows easy access to the surgical site. Five, intravenous or IV line insertion. In most cases, an IV line will be inserted into a vein in your arm or hand. This allows the administration of fluids, medications, and anesthesia during the surgery. Six, anesthesia administration. Depending on the type of surgery, you will receive either general anesthesia or local regional anesthesia. General anesthesia will put you into a deep sleep, while local regional anesthesia will numb the specific area where the surgery will take place. Our anesthesia provider will be meeting with you prior to going into the OR to answer any questions you may have about anesthesia and will be going over a series of medical questions with you. Seven, measurements and markings. Once you have met with the anesthesia provider, you will be taken to another exam room where you will have a final consultation with Dr. Hochstein. During this time, you can ask any remaining questions you may have. If you are undergoing a breast procedure, Dr. Hochstein will reconfirm the sizing and perform all the necessary measurements. He will also carefully mark your body to ensure precise surgical placement. This step helps to ensure that the surgery is tailored to your specific needs and goals. Eight, transfer to the operating room. After meeting with the anesthesia provider and Dr. Hotstein, you will be transferred to the operating room. The surgical team, including the surgeon, nurses, and anesthesiologist, will be present in the operating room. Nine, surgery. The surgeon will perform the necessary procedures based on the planned surgery. The duration of the surgery will vary depending on the complexity of the procedure. 10. Recovery and post-operative care. After the surgery is complete, you'll be taken to the recovery room or post-anesthesia care unit called PACU. Here, you will be closely monitored as you wake up from anesthesia. The medical team will assess your vital signs, pain levels, and overall condition. 11. Discharge or transfer. After you have fully recovered from the anesthesia and your vital signs are stable, you will have the option of being discharged home. It is crucial that you have a responsible adult with you for the first 24 hours after your surgery to provide assistance and support during your recovery. Having someone available to take care of you during this time is essential for your safety and well-being. It's important to note that the specific processes may vary depending on the type of surgery and the individual patient's needs. Your surgical team will provide you with detailed instructions and guidance specific to your procedure.